everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be completing the olive oil picture and this will be the last picture in this color along so we're going to jump straight in with our lightest shade which is going to be a uh, lemon yellow 104 so for this I'm going to actually use this to base all of the olive oil because this is going to be our lightest shade within the olive oil and as this is our last picture on this page you guys will have to put in the comments what page we should do next and um, which one you want to see so that would be really good and helpful for me so then I can sort of work out what to film next and I'm just going to go over the top bit here as well with just light pressure now for this one I'm only going to fill the bottle half full so I'm going to take it to about here and just fill in the bottom So that's our lightest shade. Then I'm going to go in with Sunflower Yellow 106. I'm going to start to add a little bit of shadows in here. So I'm going to go around the bottom and just darken this up a little bit. And take that all the way around the edge. And I'm going to do this edge as well from about here down. I'm going to go along here and then just take it around the edges up here so for this one we're going to do the dark bit under here and also along this edge. And under the label. And then for our darkest shade, I'm going to go in with Sienna Brown 305. And I'm just going to use light pressure for this because I don't know how dark it's going to be. So I'm just going to darken up under here. And right around the very edges. And the same up here. I'm just going to lightly bring this out from the corner. Okay, and then we're going to do the same here. And I'm going to go back in with Sunflower Yellow and go over that to blend it together make it a little bit more of an orangey brownie colour. I'm just going to bring this colour further out. And I'm just going to add a little bit of darkness here. Just blend that out a little bit. And we'll do the same for the top. So just go over the brown and then blend it in towards the middle. And we'll do the same on this one. And then back in with our lighter shade, which is Lemon Yellow 104. Just going to go over the middle bit here that we had left light. 
and this very edge here. And that's our olive oil. All we've got to do is the drip. So we'll do a base coat in the lemon. Then with the sunflower yellow, we'll add some shade. I'm gonna do the shade on this side. And then I'm just gonna go right along the very edge with the brown. Back in with lemon yellow. There we go. Okay, for the label itself, I'm gonna do that in pumpkin orange. So I'm gonna go in with harder pressure on this side because we want it to be darker on this side and then lighter pressure up here where the light would be hitting it. And I'm gonna leave the little leaf because we could do that green. So I'm starting to lift off the pressure here so that's a little bit lighter. And then again here, start to lift off the pressure. So here we're just gonna do a really light coat. So you can see the difference between the dark and the light. So I'm just gonna go and burnish this in down here and along this edge. Okay. Taking white quartz 001, I'm gonna go over and blend in this white bit here. Well, the lighter orange, but I'm gonna use the white to lighten it up a little bit and to burnish it so that it hasn't got any sort of patches where the uh, paper's coming through. This little leaves, I'm gonna go in with moss green 616. And we're just gonna fill these in. Nothing fancy. And I'm gonna do the stalk in the green as well. Next, going in with pear green 603, we're gonna fill in the olive. Might as well fill in the rest of the olives whilst we're here. So I'm not really sure what page to do next. I know there's another page in this book um, that's got little pictures again like this. Um, there's quite a few actually that we could pick from. Because I think this is probably the best idea, just do sort of the little pictures and then um, we can do a little picture for each video so that they're not too long. So I'm gonna go in with Moss Green 616 and I'm gonna add some shadows into this. So I'm gonna go for the shadows on this side. So I'm just gonna darken up this side. And then just lighten up your pressure as you come towards the middle to blend it out slightly. So we'll do the same for this one. Yeah, and I saw one that's got like, um, I think it's got like a little camper van and stuff like that on. So I think that might be a good one to do next. But if you guys want me to do one out of a different book or you know, there's a page that you really want me to do, then you should let me know in the comments down below. And um, I can take a look at all the comments and work out which one to do next. So for this one, we're gonna do this side here. Darken that up a little bit. And along here. And then the 
this one I'm just going to do this edge here. And we'll go ahead and darken up the one on the label. There we go. And I'm going to use moss green again for these stalks. actually got some more drips of olive oil in the background so I'm going to go back in with lemon yellow for both of these and then sunflower yellow so I'm just taking that about halfway across so start at the right hand side and pull it across into the middle and then sienna brown just on the very edge And the same for this one. And you just want to use light pressure with that brown. And then just go back over it with lemon yellow to blend it all together. So for the leaves, we're going to do them in absinthe green 602. So just give them a light base coat. And then taking basil green, I'm going to use this for my shading. So I'm going to go along the middle line. And around the edges. If it's nearly the end of October already, you guys. This month's gone so fast. So I'll be doing a, another completed pages video for October. I'll go up at the end of the month. You guys seem to like them pages as well, where you get to see all the finished pages. So that's good. And I've seen a few comments from you guys saying that you're following along, so that's great. I'm really glad that people are using it as a, as a colour along and hopefully you guys will post your pictures on Instagram so I get to see them. So if you don't already know, my Instagram is the same as my YouTube name, so it's New Creative 32 so if you want to go and follow me on that. Okay, and then for this top, I'm going to do it like a green colour. So the first shade I'm going to use is Absinthe Green 602. And I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of this on this left hand side. All the way down. 
and then using emerald green 613 I'm going to use this for the opposite side and work my way in so just using light pressure just go over the lighter green and a bit harder pressure when you're at this edge So again, lighter pressure there, and then more pressure as you come to this side. Then going in with black 107, I'm just going to go over these lines and just make them stand out a little bit more, and it'll just add some shading just to the edges of the lines. So the next thing that we're going to do is fill in the background because I want the background to come through the glass bottles so that you can see that they're glass. So I'm going to go in with pink macaroon A400 and this is going to be our base shade. So I'm literally just going to do a light coat um, and I'm going to leave some little circle gaps in there. So for example here I'll just do little circular motions and leave a white gap in the middle. And here I'll leave one here so that you can see tiny little gaps of colour. I'm going to do one here at the edge of this bottle and then fill in around it. So we'll have one here. one at the edge there so you just randomly leave little white circles we'll do one like that and then one over here and then just fill in the rest so it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go over this with another colour Okay, so next going in with Watermelon Pink 402. This is going to be our darker shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over random places and add some colour in. And then I'm just going to lift the pressure as it comes into the lighter pink and leave it. So here I'm going to create like a little circle here. So I'm going to do tiny little circular motions and leave a gap there of the colour, of the white, sorry, and just light pressure as you come away. So it should look something like that. And then we're going to carry on doing this around the picture. So we'll add a little bit of darker pink under here.
in here I'm going to make a little tiny circle so that's got pink macaroon inside and then I'm just going to blend the colour out so again just using light pressure I'm going to add one in here And we'll do one here. I'm just going to add a bit of dark pink here. So then going back in with pink macaroon A400, I'm going to go back in and darken up the pink macaroon. go over the glass there all the way around that should all be coloured And so you'll see here we've got some white ones and then there'll be some pink ones as well, circles, just to break up the background a bit. Just going back in with that watermelon pink, I'm just going to bring this colour into here. And then on the bottom. Then going back in with pumpkin orange. 
I'm gonna fill in here orange because if it was a glass bottle and it was see-through you would see the orange there and then this bit here you would see the oil so we're gonna fill this in as oil so that was the lemon yellow and then with the sunflower yellow a bit of shade to this edge and then with the sienna brown again add a bit of shade to this edge here just add a light line in there just really light pressure it just gives the idea that the bottle carries on through and then I'm going to lightly add in a bit of orange there as well to just finish the shape of the label. Okay, so back in with watermelon pink and I'm going to go around here and just fill that in there. And pink macaroon. Make that more of a circle. It's looking more like a splotch. Okay, so we need to do the edge of the olive oil um, label. So for that, I'm going to use apricot A111. So I'm using quite hard pressure here. And then when I get to here, I'm going to lighten up the pressure. To about there and then go in darker the underneath and then just lightly go around the orange on that so it looks like it's peeking through watermelon pink 402 let's just do this bottom bit here darken that off I'm just bringing some of this watermelon pink down here just to blend it all together. So the last thing that we need to do is go over these in a white gel pen. So I'm going to be using a white Posca pen for this. And I'm literally just going to go around the lines. So I'm going to start on this side. And just take your time so that you only get it on the lines. Just work your way around the bottle. And it might need two coats, but we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry for a minute and then see if it needs a second coat. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go around the olive oil that's dripping off the edge as well. Okay, so this definitely needs a second coat, so I'm going to go over this again. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. It's turned out quite nice. So let's move that out of the way. So this is, oh, this is our finished page, you guys. Cute little glass bottles of olive oil. So that's the whole page 
completed. So you can see there all the different ones. And I really enjoyed colouring this. I had a lot of fun doing it and had a lot of fun filming it for you guys as well. So yeah. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share it with your friends. And I will see you in the next one.